Well, hello there, folks, and welcome back to The Whiskey Friend with me, Alan. New week, new video, another brand new video. In today's brand new video, guys, I'm doing something a wee bit different. I'm going back to doing a list. I was planning to share a list with you of Père Michel whiskies that are always on The Whiskey Friend channel, are always on The Whiskey Friend shelves. In preparation for the video, I've discovered it's going to, the video's going to take a wee bit of a twist. Not that I planned to do it that way, but it's just going to evolve and let me please share with you why so my plan was to share some age stated whiskies with you maybe predominantly some 15 year old age statements that are coming up to being replaced they're permanently on my shelf so there's a pair of my shelf whiskies and some of them are getting a wee bit low on the bottle and i thought yeah let's look at replacing some of these it's that time again so when i went to do that i got my eyes opened up as i logged on to one of the big online retailers here in the UK. Some of the prices I'm going to share with you guys, some of the ideas are with you are, are UT, UK prices, UK retail prices. I'm aware that some guys may have contacts in some whiskey shops and things like that. Or you've got some contacts who can get these little offers that pop up from time to time. But these whiskies are purely permachelle whiskies, 15 year old whiskies. I'm going to share six of them with you. Uh, would I replace them? Won't I replace them? So that, that that's the plan really now, guys. So let's go to dive in. Let me show you how this all started. If you're new to the channel, you might not be aware of this, but Glendronach 15 Revival, that was my gateway to whiskey. So that was the first whiskey I ever really got into. Got me on the straight and narrow. Sent me down that rocky road. I loved everything about Glendronach at the time back in the day. Yes, they've had some issues over the last couple of years and predominantly have not been involved. I've been nursing this one a little bit and I thought, let's bygones be bygones, let's go and replace this Glendronach 15. So I logs into my online retailer and I was amazed at what came up. I got two Glendronach 15s came up on the screen, currently £76.74p. I thought, oh wow, red flag straight away, that's getting expensive. If I'm going to get it shipped as well, I'm heading in towards the kind of almost £90 to have it shipped. So now I'm starting to get alarm bells now. Do I want to replace it that much? Do I want to spend £90? Can I spend my £90 elsewhere? While I was there, I had a wee look next to it. I don't have a... Well, there was there was the other bottle. The other bottle was the new Glendronach 15. Not a revival anymore. It's just a straight Glendronach 15. And you could get that one for £84.95. There was a wee bit of an offer on it, which is £4.45 off. So you could get it for £80.50. Again, it's expensive. No revival on it, just a straightforward, all the usual kind of, do we know it's chill filtered? No, we don't. Do we know it's coloured? No, we don't. All the usual stuff is there with Glendronach. So then I think, hey, let's look at the, the 18s next to it. I don't have an image of the new one, I'll try and pop an image here for you to show you what the new packaging looks like. But yeah, £85, it's went from 76 to 85 just because it's got new packaging on. I think Glendronach 15 is Glendronach 15. The 18 was next to it. And if you want to pick up a Glendronach 18, it's going to set you back £195. £195 for a Glendronach 18. Guys, here's my first question to you. If you had a budget, what would be your maximum spend on a 15-year-old age-stated whiskey? And what would be your budget? What would the most you would spend on a 18 year old? What would be your top line be? Where would it where would you draw the line? Where would you stop and say enough's enough and no more? This might be another question I've got for you. Are you still buying these bottles? Are you buying the, the official bottlings? Are you searching for the the indie bottles, the James Edies, the old malt casks, the old Perths, all that stuff that's out there? Where your favourite distilleries are on them and the, the prices seems a little bit. Yes, you might be giving up your 15 year old age statement, maybe taking something cast strength, maybe taking something without an age statement on it. Are you doing that? Dive in, let me know. So then I thought, what? I'm not going to buy that. So what else can I go out and buy? What else needs replacing? So I noticed that my Spaybond 15 was also getting a wee bit low. So we start to nurse these a little bit now. So checks out Spaybond 15, £67.90. Oh, it's gone up again, man. £67.90. The choice I've got is, do I pick something else and put it in my basket to take it over the 100 quid to get free shipping? Or do they just pay the 12 quid and have this shipped? 
So yeah, I've got a dilemma. Normally I'm one of those who would, would maybe pick up, because I'm in the market, I pick up a couple of bottles, then I might do that. But I feel that I'm just doing that for the sake of it to avoid shipping. In the long run, I'm actually spending more. So if I picked up both of these, I'm looking at about 150 quid free shipping, but it's quite, yeah, I'm looking at 75, 80 pounds a bottle for these two. Check out this, was it worth buying the 18 instead of the 15? Spayburn 18's coming in at £83.90. So again, it's another wee bit of a jump. But that 18 compared to the Glendronach 18 is much, much more in my value. And I think, yes, I think the Spayburn 18, what I've tried in the past, I'm thinking, yes, I probably would pay that for an 18-year-old Spayburn. So I maybe just forget to buy the Glendronach 15 and just dive for a Spayburn 18 instead. So yeah, then I thought... Where else am I going to go? Let's check out some of the others. So these are the bottles I was planning to share with you that I always replace. Now I'm thinking, will I replace them? Won't I replace them? So the Glendronach 18 definitely won't get replaced. The Speedbone 15, I might sacrifice that and pick up an 18 instead. And then the 15, the Glen Caddam, everybody loves Glen Caddam. Highland Mall, Highland Single Mall, Unchill Filter, Natural Colour, 46%. Grassy, fruity, hay stacks and wet grass mixed with those beautiful fruity vanillas. All of that stuff's going on. Beautiful mouthfeel, complex whiskies. How much? £64.90. Yes, I would pay £64.90 for this. Granted, it's still £10 more than I paid for this one. But inflation and everything, I understand prices are going up somewhere. I don't think there's any gouging going on with this one. Uh, where the gouging seems to get on with this one is if you go then to the Glen Caddam 18. Glen Caddam 18 jumps up to £123.47. Wow, wee man. Three years extra, almost double. You could even get two of these for roughly the price of the 18. So, yes, I wouldn't buy the 18. I certainly would replace the Glen Caddam 15. So then I'm looking, where's the where's there some more value? So I thought I'll head to Glen Allocky. So Glen Allocky, not that I need to in a minute because I've just bought this one not too long ago. But Glen Allocky 15, again, there's a new packaging vibe going on. I will try and pop a picture down here to let you see the new packaging. But this is one of the older ones. I picked this up about six months ago. Still had the old packaging on. Uh, I paid about 65 for this one. Currently, it's retailing in the market of £67.94, so it's about £68, so there's not been that much going up on this. Granted, over the years, I bought these, I think I paid £52, £55, £60. I don't think I paid much more than £60. This was the, the most one I paid was £65, I think. I've had quite a few bottles of this, and I'm finding this is a whiskey, is a core range whiskey, is getting better and better from bottle to bottle. So this one I would definitely buy again. I'd pick this up, I'd pay my £60. 794 for it. Again, we've got an issue with the 18. This one's sitting up here. If you want to pick up an 18, it's going to cost you... Where are we looking? £130.23. £130 for a Glen Alec 18. Wow. Just to put that into some context, guys, I could pick up two of these for that. I could pick up the 15... And I could pick up the cast strength 10 for less than the 18. So again, for that extra three years, I don't know whether it's worth buying. Is it worth buy just buying two cast strengths or get the benefit of one of each? So these one I was definitely buy. I'd definitely buy the 15. I'd definitely buy the cast strength. I'd give the 18 a miss. That's, that's definitely going down that road. So I'm looking for some more sanity now. So normally... When I'm searching around, I think, oh, Ben Romack. Ben Romack are good value for money. They're obviously putting out quality, craft-presented, first-filled, cast-matured whiskey, and they have a 15-year-old, which, again, I'm not getting too far through this one at the minute. But the downside to it, as we all know, it's 43% ABV. Never really been an issue with me because I think the, the first-filled casks, the way that Ben Romack, the gas-fired stills and all that, Somehow it doesn't feel, it always tastes a wee bit higher than 43%. But yes, would we like to see it at 46? Of course we would. But what would that do to the price? This is currently coming in at £72.94. 
So again, it's over the £70 mark. Is it worth £70, £72, £73? Pound? Not too sure. I don't know if I would buy this again, guys. Honestly, don't think I would buy it. It's great stuff. It's wonderful stuff. But it's just getting too pricey. So here's another question, guys. Is is the, the age-stated whiskeys getting... Are, are they getting priced out of your budget? Are you shipping? Are you shopping around? Where are you going? What are you, if you're not buying these, what are you buying? Give me, drop me into the comments, guys. Share me what you're buying. Where should I look? Should I look somewhere else? Should I give up on some of these? Looks like I might be giving up. So yes, the Ben Romac 15, I don't think I'd replace it. Where I would replace it if I, want, if, if I wanted my Ben Romac fix, I would go down the cast strength road. I'd get the Ben Romac cast strength, sacrificing a bit of age statement, but I'm, I'm benefiting with that extra booze. So I could pick up the cast strength Ben Romac for... We're looking at 68.99. ABV though is 59.7%. So it's a big whopping cast strength Ben Romac. All the usual first fill stuff and all that as well. So if you did need a Ben Romac fix on your shelf, I'd probably look at the cast strength. Okay. Last one up, guys. Not least but not least, we're heading to Old Pulteney. Everybody likes a bit of Old Pulteney. Maritime Mall, Coastal Mall. A little bit of salinity, a little bit of sea salt, a little bit of seaweed, all of that kind of stuff. Beautiful vanillas in there, beautiful toffees and all that kind of stuff. Lovely ex bourbon barrels and Spanish oak casks. What's not to love? How much is it coming in at? £76.49. £76.49 for an old Pulteney. Again, for me guys, it's too rich, it's too dear, it's too expensive, too much money. So even the old Pulteney 15 for me is too much money. But when you head to the old Pulteney 18, £124, man. What well, What's going on with some of the pricing? Particularly the older they're getting, they're, they're, they're just astronomical prices going on. So yeah, wouldn't replace it. Ben, uh, although it's, it's great stuff, it's wonderful whiskey, it's too rich for my money. The... Old Pulteney wouldn't get it. The old Pulteney 18 definitely wouldn't get purchased. The 15s, I'd need to be on a a good day to dive into that one. Ben Romack 15, no. Cast Strength, yes. The Glen Allocky 15, yes, I'd buy it again. The Glen Cadam 15, I'd buy it again. The Spayborn, I'd swap that up to the 18 and I'd give Glen a miss. So, guys, that's my thoughts. Yes, as you can see, I've got a whiskey in the glass, but it's not one of these. These are too rich for my glasses at the minute, so I'm helping myself to my own. My Infinity Sherry bottle. Oh, there's that beautiful velvety sherry smell, man. Wonderful, wonderful stuff. Got to have a quick sip, guys, then I'm going to conclude that I'm going to get myself gone. Just before I go, I noticed on the Oswiz, it's Oswiz time coming up, guys, and yes, I did notice on the Oswiz, there's lots of new nominations, so everybody that's nominating for the Oscars, the, Oz the Whiskey Oscars, or the Oswiz, is, is nominating new stuff. There's like 50% new whiskies nominated this year. I did notice there's an absence of age-stated whiskies, most of them. No, your Talisker 18, your, your Glenn Farkless 25, your, even these, the Ben Romax, the... Glenarchy 15s, Glencadam 15s, Spayborn 15s, none of them are showing up in the Oswiz. Is that a price thing? Is that what's doing it? Is that what's, uh, are we not buying them? What, what's going on? Uh, do we need to stop buying them for the prices to Scott? Is the bubble about to bust? Guys, don't forget to dive in. Let me know what your limits would be. 15 year old limit, 18 year old limit. Bye, let's do a 12 as well. Throw a 12 year old limit in. Because I've noticed even in the Oswiz, no 12 year old Booner. No 12-year-old Deanstains. I'd be surprised if Aaron 10 even would have made it this time if it was allowed to be in. So, where's your money going? Where are you spending it? All of that, guys, I'm Alan. I'm the Whiskey Friend. As always, don't forget to send some great whiskey down the hatch, nice and responsibly, of course. And, as I always say, pleasures in the sharing. And I'll see you in the next one, guys. Cheers now. See you soon.